हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू दिस सेशन क्रॉस जोन लोड बैलेंसिंग इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द क्रॉस जोन लोड बैलेंसिंग विथ रिस्पेक्ट विथ ऑल द लोड बैलेंसर टाइप एंड हाउ इट वर्क्स इवन वी ऑल्सो सी द कन्फिग्रेशन पार्ट वी विल ऑल्सो सी द कन्फिग्रेशन इन द लोड बैलेंसर विथ ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ लोड बैलेंसर फ्रॉम द कंसोल सो लेट्स नाउ टॉक अबाउट द क्रॉस जोन लोड बैलेंसिंग सो वेन क्रॉस जोन लोड बैलेंसिंग इज इनेबल Uh, that means the each of load balancer instance will evenly distribute the traffic across the all register ability zones so the all instances are registered with the load balancer in the all ability zone so that uh, instance of the load balancer will distribute the traffic to all register uh, ec2 instances so let's have a look to diagram to have the more details so in this uh, diagram we'll taken the example for the uh, three ability zone and we have the six ec2 instance now let's assume that we have deployed the load balancer in three ability zone and so all in the cross load balancing that means our first instance in our first ez the load balancer will distribute the traffic to all ec2 instance register in the load balancer so this will distribute to all ec2 instances which are registered with the load balancer the same way this will happen with the second load balancer which will also distribute the traffic with all register load balancer and the same happen with the third one so they basically this will distribute the traffic with the all registered uh, ec2 instance uh, once you enable the cross zone load balancing so this is the all possible combination for our load balancer as we can see the this is the best way to evenly spread the load balancer across the instances which is the help of the cross zone load balancing functionality so if you don't have the cross zone load balancing enable what will happen let's look so once you didn't enable the cross zone load balancing basically it will distribute your traffic with the same ability zone this will not distribute the traffic the across the your ability zone so your register instance will share the traffic with the same ability zone so now let's look with the each load balancer type how it's impact the load cross zone load balancing with the each load balancer type so let's try to understand so we'll see the first classic load balancer so classic load balancer basically if you see the classic load balancer the by default the load balancer is disabled uh, you can enable in the configuration section that uh, we will see in, in our uh, console session and uh, there is no any extra cost while you enable the cross zone load balancing in the classic load balancer for the application load balancer this is the always on and there is not configuration part because it's always on you cannot disable and but you can always make it enable and uh, there is a no any extra charges for the uh, cross zone load balancing network load balancer it is disabled by default again but you can uh, enable the same configuration but here you need to pay for some amount for the uh, enabling the cross zone load balancing because the data will going to across the ability zone so let's move to the console where we can see the configuration for the load balancer uh, so i'm at the load balancer section here we have created the three different load balancer with the type of the all three so application load balancer we created a classic load balancer we have created and network load balancer we have created so in the application load balancer in the detailed description section you can see uh, there you should not found the configuration for the cross zone load balancing you can see here there is a because it's always enable you cannot disable so that's why it's not showing here and let's move for the classic load balancer so in the classic load balancer the din description so here you will found the cross zone load balancing basically classic load balancer having the disable uh, by default here you can found the uh, classic uh, that cross zone load balancing is disable you can enable while clicking here simply just uh, save and it simply just enable your classic load balancer cross zone uh, 
load balancing so here you can see that's enabled so this way you can enable for the classic load balancer for the network load balancer let's move here and uh, network so you can see it's a disable by default uh, in attribute add section you can see there's a cross zone load balancing you can just click here and make it deliver but here it will show you the warning that the regional data transfer may charge and the class uh, cross zone load balancing is uh, enabled so basically this will make a some uh, level of the charge as it doing the tra data transfer across the uh, load balancing so this is the way where you can configure uh, the load balancer in the classic load balancer network load balancer and application load balancer there is no need as it's already by default enabled